e-commerce app Timu is taking on the larger Xi'an by selling cheap Chinese-made goods to Western consumers. Now, at first glance, the competing smartphone apps look similar. Both use speedy product development and supply chains in China to win over young American shoppers with bargains like $5 t-shirts. Yet there are important differences. Where Xi'an works closely with a network of small and medium-sized clothing manufacturers, Timu uses an ultra-competitive bidding system to procure the lowest cost products from factories. To limit inventory risks, the company usually sells unsold goods back to its suppliers. Moreover, Timu offers generous discounts and free or subsidized shipping to users. Now, Timu only entered the United States in September, but has quickly grabbed attention by offering prices as much as 40% lower than Xi'an. It remains the most downloaded app in the country. The rivalry has spilled over into courts. Last year, Xi'an alleged Timu had contracted social media influencers to make false and deceptive statements about the company. And then last month, the upstart accused its competitor of abusing its market power in an antitrust lawsuit. Timu's parent is the $120 billion PDD, whose Pinduoduo e-commerce unit competes with Alibaba and JD.com in China. Now, PDD probably has set its sights on a bigger prize. Timu offers everything from home appliances to electronics to toys, making it more of a direct competitor to Amazon. It's still early days, but the upstart's cutthroat prices and its parent company's track record of taking on large